Today I want to show you something different, the logo exam. If you think you're a good logo designer, I have a way for you to test your claim. On LogoGround we now have 160,000 logos, almost. Um, and they're all ranked. The best logos are ranked highest. If we have that, then we can test to see if you know a good logo when you see one. Here's how that works. To illustrate, uh, here we have 160,000 cubes. Pretty cool. That's what 160K looks like. So imagine they're all logos. If we pick one logo from the top 4,000 and we pick three logos from the bottom 20,000, we have four logos where one is clearly better, right? So we shuffle them and then we ask you to pick out the top logo. Give it a try. In your browser, type logoexam.com. That takes you here to the LogoGround Logo Exam page where you can try the Logo Exam for yourself. Go do the exam or stick around for the rest of the video. I'm going to give some insight into the technicalities of the exam, what to look for when you do the exam and so on. Let's do one exam question together so I can show you how it works. Click on Start. We are presented with four logos. These are randomized, so you won't see these four logos. You will see a different set of four logos. Uh, one of these, we don't know which one, is a very good logo. Well, they're all very good logos. Even the three less good ones were approved on Logo Ground, so they are good. One is just better. Uh, all you have to do is click on that one. So, what do we think of these four logos? Well, the dragon is not bad. Nicely drawn, but I don't think it's quite a top 4000 logo. The soccer logo is excellent. I really like it. Uh, not the colors I would choose, but color is very subjective, so I'll ignore that. The domino window logo is clean and tidy, but I think perhaps it's not striking enough to be a top 4000 logo. Uh, the elephant is fabulous. Well drawn, the anatomy is spot on, nice and consistent and balanced. Uh, something that I love is the white tusk on a dark background and the dark tusk on a light background. That's excellent. So even though I like the soccer logo, I think the elephant is the clear winner. That's the top 4000 logo. So I click on the elephant and then I get the next set of four logos and so on. You can see up here, after answering the first one, I still have 49 sets to go in this exam, 49 questions. I'm not going to go through all of them with you in this video. I'll spare you that and just fast forward to the end. Uh, when you answer the last one, it shows you how you did. 92% for me, that's four incorrect answers. Sometimes it's really tough. Uh, you may get four logos where you love all of them equally or four where there isn't one that clearly stands out for you. I want to show you the stats too. Many brave souls have tried this logo exam scoring on average 47%. So all you have to do is beat that and you are above average. And check this out. The platinum level designers are scoring higher than everyone else. That's good. The exam works. If known logo design experts are doing better than the rest, that confirms the validity of the test. It is effective and accurate in testing your ability to pick out the best logo. And it's a learning exam. My four wrong answers are now treated like votes for those four logos that I clicked on. If other people also click on those logos in the exam, then LogoGround gets the message and it will eventually stop showing them because they won't be in the bottom 20,000 anymore. On the side here, we have the all-time top 10. These are really good scores. Uh, this shows the best averages. It's difficult to score 90%, so to average 90% or above takes some doing. These guys really know their logos. And these are links, so you can click on any designer to see their work. And yes, clearly this person understands logo design. Just look at this. Amazing. Logo Ground keeps track of your average too up here. You can see mine. I'm at 81% average after 144 completed exams. I'm way behind the top 10 guys, but hey, I have an excuse. I'm the one who built and tested this exam, so I have some zero scores in my history too. 
Before you go, remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. And then if you are brave, go do the logo exam. Type logoexam.com in your browser and click start. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.